A power off test to rule out QRM on 27 MHz originating in my flat. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730. Catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. Now you'll be aware I've got quite a high noise floor on 27 megs. It just goes up the further into that band it goes. Like that. Let's just turn that volume down. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a power off test. I'm just basically going to turn all the power off to the to the flat and see if this noise is actually in here or not. So I'm going to power the Grant 2 off of a battery. I've got a jump starter that will do the job nicely and we'll see what happens. So I'll set that up now. Okay, so the radio is now running off a battery. This is the power supply down here. I can prove that. Shut the power supply down. The radio is still on. That's running off a Halford's jump starter. So now I'm going to kill the power and see what happens. Right, so here we are with the circuit breakers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them all off. So let's start. Well, um, I can trip that by pressing that. And the master switch. There. Everything should now be off. Let's go back to the shack and see what's happened. And as you just see me turn on the circuit break, well, turn off the circuit breakers, you'll see that I've still got quite a high noise floor. That's not coming from in here. That is coming from one of the other flats. That is not a good sign. So I can prove the power's off. That's off. Sadly, the issue isn't coming from in here. It's coming from somewhere else. So, it was worth a check. Now, unfortunately, because it's affecting 27 megs, and it's going all the way up to... Well, look at this. It's lower there than it is in the middle of 20... Yeah, so it's lower, closer to 28 megs. So that's my little dark test. And unfortunately, as it's turned out, yeah, it made no difference at all. So let's go turn on the circuit breakers and turn them all back on. One thing I didn't mention that might be important, I don't have an isolator switch between the meter and the, the DNO fuse, which is here. So I can't isolate this. So this smart meter above me i'm not going to show too much of it because there are serial numbers on it and i don't want to show those to protect the innocent so that smart meter might be part of the problem i don't know and i can't shut it down so the only way i'd know for sure is if the smart meter was causing the problem is if um, uh, i could shut it down by the the isolator and there isn't one so i'm gonna just swing up here and start turning these circuit breakers back on so, first of all, let's get that master switch back on. So, let's start turning things on. That. And. Need to reset the RCD, so press the test button. And it did trip. Right. Right, that should be everything back on. Or everything that I hadn't unplugged previously. So, yeah. So, my dark test hasn't quite worked. So, it's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform. Or 26 Charlie Tango 730. If you catch me on 11 metres and PMR 446. I'm going to have to find out where that noise is coming from now. Because it's basically rendering 27 megs unusable. God knows what it's doing to the rest of the HF band. But it's definitely not coming from in here. Unless it's this, which I don't actually know for sure. Not without um, uh, me getting a meter change, which is not going to happen. This meter has only been in for a, well, how long, when was it in? February 2018. About four years. Uh, so, yeah. But the noise level wasn't even that bad so in previous, previous uh, uses of 27 megs. It's just got worse in recent times, so... I don't know. 
So, that's everything now back on, and yeah, not a lot I can do there. Yeah, and as you can see, no difference at all. So, same three for now. I'm going to go hunt that noise down at some point. And obviously not today. My antenna's actually quite low, which might not be helping anyway. And, you know, so, I'll catch you in the next video. Same three for now, guys.